Hi guys, so today is Wednesday and I wasn't planning to start vlogging today um, but I am going to be vlogging this week and I just received a really cool package. It was actually a surprise gift from Prism Boutique in LA who I've worked with before and it's filled with so many goodies so I thought I would just open it up like on camera and just show you everything that they sent me because honestly I'm just blown away with this package so it's like the nicest little care package and it came with this little card that says take care and apparently you can actually buy these care packages on their website and you know gift them to a friend or get one for yourself if you need some self-care so i just thought this was the sweetest idea and i'm going to show you what is in the package it's a bit messy in here right now in the living room because i have been working from here for a while now like a few weeks and it's a little bit more chill I get to sit on the sofa but anyways i'm going to open up this package now and i've already opened a few things so here's the little card it has um, more information about the brands that are in the self-care package this is a nano cbd sun drop sample from hello goldie and then this is gem and honey infused mineral soak cosmic for soaking or body scrub this is so cute i cannot wait to try this out it comes in such a cute little package too and then they sent me a diffuser from pf candle co which is a pretty popular candle company i've tried out their candles before but i've never tried their diffuser so i'm really excited try this this one is golden hour here's what it looks like golden hour bergamot hay and golden poppy came with the little diffuser reads too this looks cool these are sunglasses from rain which i have not tried that brand before these are called the remy sunglasses oh my god these are adorable i love them already this is just my style of sunglass, kind of like a rounded wayfair. Has like an orangish yellow tint to them too. These are so cute. And I've been wearing my Ray-Ban rounds so much, so it'll be nice to have something else to kind of switch it up now and then. Something else from Hello Goldie, which um, they're the brand that included this CBD sun drop. This is a hemp infused botanical tea. Very cool. Mmm. I've never tried CBD products before, but I'm really excited too. Comes with a bunch of different tea flavors and then a couple more of the sun drop drink things. Uh, hand poured soy wax candle from oak and moss. Or no, it's from Settle Well, and the um, scent is oak and moss. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love. I don't know if it's pronounced Giant or Giant or something, but it's a hard kombucha brand that I actually buy here in San Diego too. And this is my favorite flavor that they do. It's grapefruit and hibiscus, which I love grapefruit. I love like fresh grapefruit juice and it's just one of my favorite flavors. And hibiscus is one of my favorite flavors specifically for hard kombucha. So I'm very excited to drink this. I've developed some like uh mild allergies to beer i don't know what it is in the beer that makes my stomach hurt but that happens so i pretty much only drink wine or hard kombucha it's fun fact on me and this is sweet reason lemon rhubarb sparkling water that looks good looks very refreshing might be good in some mixed drinks too I do drink mixed drinks, I forgot to mention that, just not very often. Oh, and that has hemp extract in it too. This is a floral scented hand sanitizer from Kelly and Jones. Comes in handy, definitely. This is a shirt from La Calza, which is a brand that, um, that Prison Boutique sells, and it's a wonderful, sustainable brand. This is very cute. It's in Los Angeles, long sleeve shirt. So excited for long sleeve shirt weather. And it's really, really soft and nice and thin and like slinky. I'm really excited to wear this. So yeah, that is everything that they sent me from Prison Boutique for this lovely care package. It was such a nice treat to receive this. I was not expecting it. And um, yeah, so thank you Prison Boutique. 
I also received another giant package today and it is a very exciting one. It has my name on it, which is cool. It's from Cezanne and I ordered this in a heartbeat when I saw that they came out with them again. First of all, this packaging is gorgeous and it smells amazing. Like their packages are like scented or something. And here it is. This gorgeous trench coat it comes with a um, garment bag is nice this trench coat is absolutely stunning quite an investment piece for me for fall but i've been looking for one for a while and this was just top of my wish list and it finally came back in stock so i got it so i'm gonna try it on now i got a size 38 by the way it's just gorgeous the fit is perfect i went with a 38 so i think i sized up one um because i wanted a kind of more oversized fit but really this is like the perfect fit for me i feel like this is just the trench coat that kind of ticked all the boxes for me and i looked around at a lot of different options you know over the course of like a year I looked at um secondhand options and like any kind of sustainable brands that had pieces like this and for the price range like without buying a designer piece you know there just wasn't anything with the kind of quality. I am so happy with this purchase and I feel like this is a really strong start to my fall wardrobes. I'll probably do like a video on this and I'm sure you'll see this in a lot of styling videos but maybe I can do like a review video too if you guys are interested or looking for something similar. So I know I looked at a lot of options um, and finally just went back to the one that I was most excited about. Hey guys, so it's Thursday. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm having one of those days where like it's just going by really quickly so I'm going to try to get some more stuff done this afternoon. I got a lot done in the first like couple hours this morning then got a little derailed so now I'm trying to get back on track and have a productive afternoon here at home and I have some things that just came in the mail that I'm going to show you that I will actually be shooting for um, an Instagram post that's going up soon. So yeah, I thought I would show you that now. There's some cool beauty products that I just received from Birchbox. So I have a, a collaboration with them at the moment and they do their own products too. So every month they have their subscription box with products. I get the clean beauty subscription box, but then they also make their own products under the label Arrow. I'll show you them now and then I'm going to take some pictures of them. They sent me the Radiant Skin Moisturizer. I'm really excited to try this. This is the Cooling Cheek Tint. They actually had a lip and cheek tint from another brand in the last brooch box that I received and I really liked it. So I'm excited to try that out. This is the Color Enhancing Lip Balm. I love a lip balm. The Nourishing Lip Oil, which I'm probably most excited to try because my lips need something extra right now. This is the Weightless Brow Tint, which I'm also excited about. I'm using a brow pencil at the moment that I'm not crazy about, but it's doing the job, so I'd rather go back to like a kind of brow gel, I think. And then this one here is an Under Eye Brightening Serum, which will also be cool. So there it is, I'm going to unbox these now and set up a cute little shot right here. So I've got my shot set up now. I'm going to have these in the foreground and I'll be standing at the mirror and hopefully it will turn out pretty cool. So I just finished the photos and that didn't take any time at all really. It went pretty quickly after I set up the shot. Um, and then I threw on the Nourishing Lip Oil, which is just like clear gloss kind of. And it feels really moisturizing, so that's good. I also threw on some of the Cooling Cheek Tint, which has a really interesting applicator. I haven't really used a blush like regularly, but I really like this one. It's just really, really subtle and blends into your skin really easily, which is what I was looking for. And my plan for the rest of this evening was to do a bit of like a clear out and organization, both clothing and like skincare stuff, hair care stuff. I think I might start the kind of decluttering process and see how far I get. So I just got out my suitcase, which um, last time I kind of went through everything and unpacked, 
I actually put some seasonal things that were in my dresser before but I wanted to get them out of the way. They're more like fall winter things and a few of them I was thinking about giving away so I'm just going to go through those now and kind of sort through the ones that I want to keep. Also go through my under the bed storage which is where I keep all my like heavy winter coats and things so hopefully I'll be able to take some of those things out and then put whatever is left over from that into the under bed storage with the rest of the winter clothing. I think it's a little too early here in San Diego to actually switch out like my fall capsule wardrobe completely so I'm gonna hold off on that for you know however long <laughs> summer decides to last and yeah just keep that in storage. So here's where I have all of my really heavy sweaters and coats packed in here pretty well. Um, so now I'm going to go through this because there are a few things in here that I might try to sell. So one of the jackets that I had in that storage box back there is this vintage like leopard print jacket which is gorgeous and I got it at a local vintage shop but after keeping it in storage there you know for the past like year or so i realized that it has a really strong kind of like old attic-y smell so i'm going to get it dry cleaned hopefully that will fix this and then this is going to a new home so this is something that i used i would have used to hold on to for a long time because i loved it so much but now i'm willing to part with pieces like this because even though i still love it i just know that i'm not going to wear it so there's no point in hanging on to a piece of clothing that I'm not gonna wear. Hopefully someone who gets it will actually appreciate it enough to wear it regularly. And that's everything packed nice and neatly in there and ready to go back under the bed until later this year. Maybe a couple months. These clothes are going to a clothing recycling once I find a location nearby. And then these are going to the thrift store to be donated. And then I have two things that I found to sell, so I'll show you the first one. So the first thing I'm going to sell is this faux shearling bomber jacket from a brand called Pieces. And I bought it a couple of years ago, I think. And as you can see, I did not get much use out of it still has the tags on it so I'll be selling that one and the other thing I'm selling is this uh, camel colored coat from Bershka it's a medium I bought this also a couple of years ago and I think I bought something kind of similar to it and ended up not wearing this but yeah it's a really nice coat and I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get more use out of it um, as you can probably assume you don't really need a heavy coat like this in San Diego so I definitely did not need more than one. Another thing that I'm going to be selling on Poshmark it are these um, by far boots that I bought. These are the Lada boots and they're brand new. I bought two pairs last year. Um, one in this color which is a 38 and one in a cream color which was actually my size so these I just didn't return them in time but yeah I've never worn these I'm also thinking about selling my other a uh, lot of boots these are in my size they're the 40 um, in the cream color and these I've also not worn which I don't know if it's because of the time of year that I bought them it's definitely something that I should be getting a lot more use out of for the amount that I paid for them so these might be going up on the Poshmark too. You know like September, early September beginning of fall is a good time to do this like a big clear out. So I'm feeling a lot better and I organized all the shoes in my closet too so not everything fits. I'm just going to relax for the rest of the evening. Um, Kyle is camping this weekend so I have the apartment to myself for a few days morning guys it is friday yay i did my hair a little differently today i usually like brush it down and today i'm just kind of leaving it curly um and then i'm trying some of the arrow products today for very minimal makeup so i used the moisturizer which is really nice it's a uh, kind of thin which i like i put on the lip oil which i've been using a ton already and then i used the brow tint i went a little heavy on the brows today i have to say but 
I don't really feel like doing them over again, so just gonna go with this. If you're someone who likes that or is good at it, please do not comment on this part. Now for the cooling cheek tint, which I mentioned yesterday. It's hard to do this without a mirror. <laughs> I also don't really use blush, so I feel like I put it maybe a little too low. Today's very simple outfit that might be a little too warm even for the apartment, but we shall see. I'm wearing this old tank top. I'd like to replace this with a sustainable one when this one finally, you know, is no longer wearable. And I actually found one from a brand called Able. I think that's where it's from. Or Cotton. Anyways, I'll link the one that I found below, but that is going to be my number one contender because I just love this neckline and this kind of like ribbed, uh, what do you call this, racer back style? It gets really flattering on me um, and anyone else who has broad shoulders because it kind of breaks it up and looks really like kind of feminine. For pants, I'm wearing my Tribe Alive wide leg everyday pant very comfortable and i think these might be a little bit too warm for today but nice and high-waisted big pockets so i can carry my phone if i need to and i'm also wearing my nordgren watch today i'm going to wear these little huggy hoops from orient new york and probably this necklace that i wear almost every day from missoma and yeah now i'm gonna go do some work at my computer and i will catch up with you guys later made myself some Irish breakfast tea and this is hot so I went to make it into iced tea so I'm going to do that in this Pyrex glass. Last night I did a bentonite clay mask and this is the clay that I use, Indian Healing Clay. Um, I haven't done one in a while but I remembered why I liked them so much. It's such an easy mask to do so I do a recipe of like um, one part bentonite clay, one part apple cider vinegar, unfiltered, and then a bit of water. Usually I have to add a little bit more clay to thicken it. So but yeah, I did it last night and I'll insert a clip here with my mask on. <laughs> I can't remember how much this was. I'm guessing probably between like 10 and $15, but literally like I need like a tablespoon of this to make a mask or to make like two or three masks. So it's a little later now and I just made some lunch. It was whatever, it was like fish tacos, not that great. <laughs> But I made a little grapefruit juice and I mixed it with this drink. The flavor of this sparkling water is actually really nice. It's lemon and rhubarb. If you see this in the store, try it out. It's really good, especially if you mix it with like a grapefruit juice or you could use it for cocktails or something. Hey guys, it is Saturday. I'm just having um, a kind of relaxed day today, um, but I do have this vlog to edit so I can go up tomorrow. I think I've already signed off of this vlog twice now, but then I just keep filming more. I made overnight oats yesterday, so I'm enjoying that a lot this morning. 
Um, I just made it with like almond milk and a little bit of agave. Mm, oh, and peanut butter. And then this morning I added a very ripe banana and uh, some coconut flakes. And it's really good. Kind of tastes like an ice cream sundae or something. Yeah, I just did a bar three workout this morning, which was nice was a really slow kind of restorative yoga workout which is exactly what I needed to just stretch everything out and it felt really good but I wish I had eaten something before I did it because I was starting to feel a little woozy towards the end of that. Just got an exciting package that arrived much earlier than I thought it would. This is really exciting. I had to order a new MacBook because mine I've had for eight years now and it was definitely on its last legs. And with the amount of uh, video editing and uh, photo editing that I do on my laptop, it would just could not handle it anymore. So I finally bit the bullet and ordered a new laptop and it's really exciting. I got the, the same one that I used to have. This is just the newer version of the MacBook Pro, which I really, really love. I got this rather than the MacBook Air because I read online that these actually last about eight years and the MacBook Air is their typical lifespan is three to five years. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this one because I already know I really like it a lot. It has good like processing power for what I do and yeah, it'll last longer too. So very exciting purchase it's a lot lighter <laughs> than my old one too so I'm going to be setting this up for a while and I'm really excited because this means that I can hopefully um, edit this vlog on my new computer which is awesome just to give you guys a little side by side comparison this is my 2012 MacBook Pro I think I didn't realize that I got a slightly smaller size than the new one, but it doesn't really bother me. This one is a whole lot thicker and heavier. This one feels so lightweight. I'm just amazed. We are in business. I think I've already signed off of this vlog twice now, but then I just keep filming more. But yeah, um, I hope you all are having a really nice weekend. It's Labor Day weekend, so maybe you're out there getting some sun um but i hope everyone's staying safe and doing well so if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up and um you can subscribe for more if you want to and yeah i'll see you guys on wednesday with another video bye